Hello, Abacus users. What's up? Have you ever run a simulation only to be stopped in your tracks by the error message too many attempts? If you work with Abacus or a similar finite element analysis, chances are you have encountered this issue. It's frustrating, time-consuming, and can feel like a rollback to your progress. But don't worry. Today, we are going to dive deep into what this error means and why it happens, and for the most importantly, how you can fix it. By the end of this video, you have a clear understanding of this step that you can take to overcome this challenge and get your simulation running smoothly again. Let's start by understanding what this error actually means. When Abacus encountered this message, it's telling you that the software has tried and failed to resolve certain discontinuities in your model within the allowed number of iterations. But what are these discontinuities in simple terms? They are pointing in your simulation when the behavior of the model changes abruptly. Abacus Solver uses a process called discontinuity iteration to resolve these issues. Think of it as software trying to smooth out these changes to the simulation so it can proceed. But when it cannot do this, the simulation stops and you are left with this error. In Abacus Solver, we have two types of situation. First is the implicit, and secondly is the explicit software. In explicit software, there's no need to worry about the too many attempts error because the solving algorithm is different. There are several common reasons why your simulation might be hitting this fault. And for the most important part is about the convergence of your answer. But for explicit simulation, that is not the issue at all. There are possible source of uh, the error. Uh, this could due to the context between the parts of material, nonlinearity, or a sudden change in the boundary condition. Now let's talk about the why it happens for each case and how we can fix them uh, with some practical steps that you can take to resolve these issues. First, complex in, uh, in contact interactions. If you have a model involves multiple parts interacting with each other, especially in complex ways, Abacus may struggle to resolve these interactions. For example, if you have a model with sliding context friction or penetration issues, and it can all lead to discontinuity that are hard to resolve. Adjusted contact definition, simplify contact interaction where possible. For example, you can try using sulfur contact formulation or adjusting the contact stiffness. If you have uh, multiple contact pairs, consider simplifying the model by removing unnecessary contacts. Secondly, material nonlinearity from the property. Some materials behave in highly nonlinear ways under certain conditions. Think of the rubber stretching or metal yielding. These behaviors can cause sudden change in the model's response, making it harder for Abacus to converge. So you must allow the solve the problem for the plastic region, which is nonlinear part of the simulation. Make sure your material definition are accurate and realistic. If you are using a highly nonlinear material, consider simplifying the material model or using a gradual loading curve. It's all about having less gaps in the data to be able to find the answer. So just let Abacus to zoom in to see what happens and give out the solution. The mesh foundation of your simulation. If your mesh is too coarse or poorly shaped elements, it can create a stress concentration or unrealistic deformation leading to convergence issues. Refine your mesh and find a mesh that can help reduce concentration and improve convergence. Pay special attention to areas where you expect a higher stress complex interaction. For example, if you have a contact region, make sure you have a mesh refined there. Boundary conditions or load. If your boundary conditions are too restrictive or incorrectly applied, they can create artificial constraint that the model can resolve. For example, over-constraining a part can lead to unrealistic stress or deformations. Double-check your boundary condition to ensure they are not overly restrictive or incorrectly applied. For example, make sure you're not over-constraining the model 
or applying loads in an unrealistic way. Five, we now have demonstrated the specific solution on each case. However, right now there is a general solution to this error, which is increasing the number of attempts. As you know, this is the general solution, and sometimes it may or may not work. As you saw our example previously, we had a plate with a force at one direction and a fixed boundary condition. So on this instance, we had the yield of stress set at 400 megapascal and the plastic strain at zero. This gives us elastic plastic perfectly model. However, Abacus gives us that error too many attempts. In order to fix that, we add the yield of stress 450 megapascal and a plastic strain of 0 0.01. This allows us Abacus to define it uh, and gives us uh, a model with a linear elastic. And this will solve the solution easily. Now let's move on to our example. Let's look at the example shown previously, which we saw too many attempts error. We should try to increase the maximum number of iteration as we seek. And we will try to see if the problem will be resolved. So by going under the step module and select the right option, we increase the minimum iteration from five to 24 as an example. However, as you see, the issue is still persists. So what we should be doing is define the plasticity correctly and allow Abacus to identify the next step for plastic region. So we will define the strain given by the certain stress, then allow Abacus to run the simulation once more. A few moments later. Now that problem has been resolved, and as you can see, it's all about understanding the problem and making the targeted adjustments. If you're still struggling with the error, and don't worry, you're not alone. Simulation, troubling, shooting can be challenging, but with the right approach, you can overcome it. For more uh, dev guidance tips and expert advice, visit CA assistant and if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon and stay updated for more simulation and tips and tricks thanks for watching and happy simulating